Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap is going to be a two-part one. I've got a fair bit to include. It just takes too long to upload a half-hour video. In tonight's nightcap, there'll be some machining. I modify a piston for a, a big motorbike. I think it's a 500cc single. It's the one I did the manifold for earlier on. Anyway, I had to get a few more cc's into the top of the piston. I'll show you how I measured that and how I machined it. I've been doing some stick welding. I've got the, the video of the stick welding quite well perfected now. I'll show you that. The welding might not be good, but the video certainly is. I've got some car boot sale items. I'll show you what we've got at the car boot sale uh, today. One or two nice bits and pieces. I went across to Pathhead Watermill earlier in the week with my friend Nick and we did some video. Uh, I'll put some bits of that on, some clips of that. I've been asked by a friend to modify this piston. Uh, the piston goes with a little short manifold I did for a turbocharged motorcycle. I think you said it was a 500cc single. You can see it's quite a quite a nice piston. What do you call a slipper piston? It's got no, no skirt on the sides. Just a little bit there. It'll rattle a bit when it's cool, but it doesn't really matter for what it's going to be used for. I believe it's from a Subaru engine. I'm not 100% sure. But it's going to be a big single cylinder motorbike engine. The piston. Um, it's got the head out as far as it'll go. The compression ratio is still too high. Obviously, running a turbocharger, you need to drop the compression ratio. So what I need to do is measure this to see how much is in here now and then see how much I can get out of it to make it uh, to get the compression ratio he wants. Like I say, he needs 45cc in there. There's probably some magical method of measuring that by mathematics. I'll show you the way I'm going to do it, the way I've done it for years, uh, working out cc's on cylinder heads. It only needs a, a bit of perspective of the hole cut in. Put a little bit of a little bit of grease on the top of the piston to form a seal. You can do this the same with combustion chambers and cylinder heads. There's a there's a nice radius in there. That something goes on there like that, and the grease forms a the grease forms a reasonable seal around the outsides. Then we use something to measure it with. I've got a big syringe here. The syringe is zeroed at 30. A little bit of air, we'll get shot with a little bit of air. That's it, it's zeroed at, th zeroed at 30. So what we'll do, we'll fill this up. All I'm using here is a light, a light oil. You keep putting it in, you end it with an air bubble. Move it around to get the... You see how it's full except for that little bit there where the air bubble is. This bit up to get the bubble into the another centre of the hole. It's just about it. Right, so that's now full, full of oil. Right, so it start up at thirty. So we've got five, ten, fifteen. 20, 20 cc's in that sunlight, in the 20 cc's in the combustion chamber on top of the piston. 20 cc's in there, he needs 45, so we've basically got to double what that is. Get the oil back a bit. Okay, so basically, if I measure the depth of that, the depth of that, we know that's 20 cc's in there now. 
Cool machine, machine at the same depth. That's a double capacity to 40. The thing I need to find out is how, th how much metal there is between the piston crown. How thick the piston crown is. I'll get a micrometer, we'll measure that and see how much I can actually take out. If you, you look at the top of the piston, that's cut out where four, the four valves used to go. The sunlight head is using just two valves. So there's four cutouts and there's a raised part in the centre of the piston. And looking at it, I would say the raised part equals about the same amount as the four cutouts. So I'm going to class the top of the piston as being flat. That's 250, that's quarter inch key steel. Four fifty, so that's two hundred thou between there and there. So we need to know, basically, we need to make, we need to take another two hundred thousandth out of it to get to double the to double the combustion chamber size. You know, got me big, me four inch mate. Right, and that's three hundred and. 350 thousandths of an inch thickness there. So if I take 200 thou out of it, that will still be 150, which will be strong enough, I think. What I'll do, I'll take 150 out and I'll measure it again. And I'll set it up in a four jaw chuck. I think I've got a radius tool, it's very near the radius of that. So I'll take 150,000 out of it and then we'll measure it again. I can see I've got to take a little bit off the top as well. He did tell us how much to take off to, to decade the piston. I can't remember quite what it is. I'll put some tape on the on the skirt of the piston just so I don't damage it uh, when I put it in the chuck. I'll also put some aluminium packing pieces in there as well. Hi, my name's John. Welcome to Pophead Water Mill. Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another episode in the Sunday Night Car Boot Sale. Idiot. <laughs>